Before calculators, before blackboards, before even the word mathematics meant what it means today. There was Pythagoras, and he didn't just study numbers. He believed in them. Who was he? Born around 570 BCE on the Greek island of Samos, Pythagoras was more than a mathematician. He was a philosopher, mystic, teacher, and spiritual leader, a man who blended math with magic, logic with mystery. He traveled far, Egypt, Babylon, India, gathering knowledge from temples, priests, and scholars. But when he returned, he didn't just teach. He founded a secretive brotherhood, where numbers were seen as sacred. What is he known for? Most famously, he gave us the Pythagorean theorem. A2 plus B2 GQ has E2, a formula every student meets, and many fear. But for Pythagoras, this wasn't just geometry. It was proof that numbers held the secrets of the universe. He believed everything, music, planets, even the soul, could be explained through mathematical harmony. A life of mystery Pythagoras taught that. The soul is immortal. Eating beans was forbidden. Yes, seriously. The cosmos was ruled by mathematical ratios. His followers lived strict lives, like monks of mathematics, in silence, devotion, and number worship. Eventually, his teachings threatened local powers and his school was burned. But the legend, that lived on. His legacy. Today, his name lives in textbooks. But Pythagoras wasn't just a theorem. He was a man who looked at the stars and saw equations, who heard music and felt geometry, who believed the universe itself was built on the unshakable truth of numbers.